welcome back to mathematics class hope all are doing good now last class we studied multiplication table up to 9 i hope you understood well and you studied well so once again i remind you that it is very important to learn multiplication table to work out multiplication question so children moving to today's topic multiplying three digit number by a one digit number now we shall see some questions related to this topic First, you will see how we are multiplying three digit number by a one digit. First, you will see. First, you will see how we are multiplying a three digit number by a one one digit number without reducing. First question: Multiply one hundred twenty three by two. That means one hundred twenty three into two. We have ones, tens, and hundreds. First step, we have to multiply the ones digit by two. That means three twos equal to six. So we have to write this six here. Then we have to multiply this tens digit by two. That is two twos are four. Then finally we have to multiply the hundreds digit by two. That is one twos are two. So our answer is two hundred forty six. Clear. The second question. Multiply 121 by 4. First step, we have to multiply 1's digit by the multiplier 4. That is, 1 4's are 4. Then we have to multiply 10's digit by 4. 2 4's are 8. So, write 8 here. Then finally, we have to multiply 100's digit by 4. That is, 1 4's are again 4. So, we got the answers 484. Then moving to third question, 324 into 2. So what we have to do? Okay, first step, we have to multiply the 1's digit by 2. That means 4 2's are 8. Then we have to multiply the 10's digit by 2. That is 2 2's are 4. And finally multiply 100's digit by 2. That is 3 2's are 6. So the answer is 648. Then, fourth question, 302 into 3. First, we have to multiply the unit digit by 3. That is, 2 3s are 6. Then, we have to multiply this 10s digit by 3. That is, 0 into 3. We already learned any number multiplied by 0, the product is always 0. So, we have to write the 0. Then, multiply the 100s digit by 3. That is 3 3 is 9. So our answer is 906. Next moving to with regrouping. First question 215 into 5. So first step we have to multiply this 1's digit by the multiplier 5. That is 5 by 5. 5 by 5 that is 25. So writing 5 in the 1's column and carrying over this 2 to the 10's column. Like this. Then we have to multiply the tens digit by the multiplier 5. That is 1 multiplied by 5. 1 multiplied by 5 equal to 5. Plus this carrying over plus 2. That is equal to 7. So we have to write 7 here. Then finally we have to multiply this hundreds digit by 5. That is 2 into 5 equal to 10. So we have to write 10 here. So, we got the answer 1075. Clear. Then, second question 274 into 3. First, we have to multiply this 1's digit by 3. That is 4 into 3. That is equal to 12. So, writing 2 in the 1's column and this 1 is carried over to 10's column. Then, here. Then, we have to multiply this 10's digit by 3. That means 7 into 3. 7 into 3, we have 21. 21 plus this carried over, this 1. That is equal to 22. So, writing 2 in the tens column and carrying over this 2 to the hundreds column. Like this. Then we have to multiply this hundreds digit by 3. That is 2 into 3 equal to 6 plus carried over 2. 6 plus 2, we have 8. Therefore, our answer is 822. Then, next 
question 425 into 4. So first we have to multiply this once this by 4. That is 5 into 4. That is equal to 20. So what do you have to write? Yes, you have to write this 0 in the 1's column. And this 2 is carried over to this 10's column. Then multiply this 2 into 4. That is 2 into 4 we have 8. 8 plus this carried over 2. That is equal to 10. So again writing 0 in the 10's column and 1 is carried over to 100's column. Then 4 into 4. 4 into 4 equal to 16. 16 plus carried over 1 that is equal to 70. So write here 70. So we got the answer 1700. Then fourth question 134 into 8. So what we have to do? Yes, first we have to multiply this unit once digit by 8. That is 4 multiplied by 8. What is the answer? Yes, 32. So what we have to do? We have to write this. So we have to write this 2 in the 1's column. And we have to carry it over this 3 to the 10's column. Like this. Then we have to multiply this 10's digit by 8. That is 3 into 8. What is the answer? Yes, 24. 24 plus this carried over 3. That is equal to 27. So we have to write this 7 in the 10's column and carry it over this 2 into the 100's column. Then finally we have to multiply 100's digit by 8. That is 1 multiplied by 8 equal to 8 itself plus carried over 2. That is plus 2. 10. So we have to write this 10. That means we got the answer as 1072. Children, now we are moving to our next topic that is multiplying 3 digit number by a 2 digit number. We shall see some questions. So our first question 221 into 24. First step we have to multiply this 221 by the 1's place of the multiplier that is by 4. First step 1 multiplied by 4 that is 4 itself. Then write 4 here. Then we have to multiply this 2 into 4. What is the answer? Yes, 8. So write 8 here. Then finally, you have to multiply this 2 into 4. That is again 8. Then next step, we know that we are multiplying by the tens digit of the multiplier. So here we have to put 1 0. Always put 1 0 here. Clear? Then we have to multiply this 1 into 2. That is 2. Then 2 into 2. 4. Lastly, 2 into 2. 4. Then what do we have to do? Yes, we have to add this number. 4 plus 0, 4. 8 plus 2, we know that it is 10. So, writing 0 in the uh, tens column and carry it over here. Then, again, 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 1, 13. Writing 3 here and carry it over 1 here. Then, lastly, 4 plus 1, 5. So, we got the answer as 5,304. Then next question 435 into 11. So first step we have to multiply this 435 by the 1's place of the multiplier that is by 1. So first step 5 into 1 we have 5. Then 3 into 1 again 3. Then 4 into 1 4. So first step is over. In second step, what we have to do? Yes, we have to write 0 in the 1's column. Then we have to multiply. 5 into 1, 5. Then 3 into 1, 3. Then 4 into 1, 4. Then what we have to do? Yes, we have to add this number. That is 5 plus 0, 5. 3 plus 5, 8. 4 plus 3, 7. 4 plus 0, 4 8. So, answer is 4,785. Third question, 233 into 21. So, first we have to multiply this 233 by the unit digit of the multiplier. That is by 1. First, 3 into 1, 3. Then, again, 3 into 1, 3. Then, 2 into 1, that is 2. So, 
So first step is over. Then next step, we have to put one zero in the ones column. Always remember that we have to put one zero in the ones column. Then we have to multiply three into two, six. Again three into two, six. Then finally two into two, four. Then we have to add this number. That is three plus zero, three. Three plus six, nine. Two plus six, eight. Then 4 plus 0 is 47. So we got the answer as 4893. Then fourth question 621 into 16. So first we have to multiply this 621 by the unit place of the multiplier that is by 6. First 1 into 6 we have 6. Then 2 into 6. 2 into 6 we have 12. So writing 2 here. And 1 is carried over to 100 so far. Then we have to multiply 6 into 6. 6 into 6 equal to 36 plus this carried over 1. That is equal to 37. So we have to write this 37 here. First step over. Then second step we have to put 1 0 in the unit place. Then we have to multiply 1 into 1. 1, 2 into 1, 2, 6 into 1. 6. Then add 6 plus 0, 6, 2 plus 1, 3, 7 plus 2, 9, finally 3 plus 6, 9. So we got the answer as 9936. So children, so next question 748 into 12. So first we have to multiply this 748 by the one space of the Multiply that is by 2. First 8 into 2. 8 into 2 equal to 16. Writing this 6 in 1's column and this 1 is carried over to the 10's column like this. Now we have to multiply this 4 into 2. 4 into 2 equal to 8 plus 1. That is equal to 9. So write 9 here. Then finally we have to multiply 7 into 2. 7 into 2 equal to 14. So write this 14 here. Then first step over. Then second step we have to put 0 in the hand column. Then we have to multiply. 8 into 1. 8. Then 4 into 1. 4. 7 into 1. 7. Then we have to add. That is 6 plus 0. 6. 9 plus 8. 17, writing 7 here, carried over 1 here. Then 4 plus 4, 8. 8 plus 1, 9. Then 1 plus 7, 8. So we got the answer as 8976. Children, I hope you understood today's class. You have to study the table thoroughly in order to work out the multiplication questions. So thank you, children.